Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to share with you my wash and go routine. I am starting off on freshly washed, deep conditioned, and detangled hair. I will have the link to my previously recorded wash day routine linked above and down below in the description box. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'm starting off by rinsing out the deep conditioner from my hair. And like I said, it's already detangled, so I don't need to do that. And I only do my wash and goes while I'm in the shower because I do not like product all over my floor and I hate water dripping down my neck and my back and I notice my wash and goes just turn out better this way. So I am starting off with my leave-in conditioner and today I am using the Aunt Jackie's Quenched Moisture Intensive Leave-In Conditioner. And I just rake the leave-in conditioner through my hair and then I kind of do the praying hands motion that people always talk about where I just press my hands together and smooth it down my hair strands to make sure the product is well distributed through all of my curls. And then any shed hairs that come off I kind of just put them on the shower wall. And for the styler part of my wash and go, I am using the Aunt Jackie's Flaxseed Don't Shrink Elongating Curling Gel. And I just do the same motion, rake it through, and then I smooth it through my hair. And don't forget to get the roots of your hair because you don't want to have puffy roots and then your ends be all defined. I just try not to get it on my scalp. And that's about it. I just move around all of my sections, taking my twist down and repeating the same process through my whole head. And as you can tell, I did the other half of my head off camera because this video will be super long if I show myself doing every section of my hair. And as you can see, when I'm applying product, my hair is not dripping wet because if it was dripping wet, it would take forever to dry and it already takes a really long time to dry. But my hair is very damp, just not dripping wet. And then after I have finished all of my sections, I just go through and take all the hair ties out that were very loosely tied around my hair. And I go in and scrunch with a little more gel on my hands and just smooth out the back part of my hair to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I just kind of scrunch the curls into place. And then I grab my microfiber hair towel and I put my hair up in this towel and a lot of times I end up sleeping with it on my hair because like I said I hate water dripping down my neck and with products sometimes it's sticky I just don't like that feeling so this is the next morning I ended up taking the hair towel off my hair because it was soaking wet and I put a very large t-shirt on my hair and that's all that happened off camera and this is the next morning my hair has been up for over 12 hours so as you can tell, my hair looks crazy, but we will fix that. And my hair is not fully dry, so I still have to be careful to help avoid frizz. And I just kind of do a lot of shaking, as you'll see, and kind of mold my hair into the shape that it wants to be in. Go in with a little oil on my fingertips to help avoid extra frizz and I just start kind of shaping my hair into its shape by pulling it and shaking.
and it's kind of flat at the top because it's still very wet in the center part of my hair so I just go through with the blow dryer the concentration nozzle and get it pretty dry I only dried it for maybe five minutes I didn't dry it very long and this just helps to give me some more volume so I can shape my hair better And now I'm going in with a bobby pin or two to kind of pin away those scraggly ends because I'm not about to cut them. I don't feel like it. Shrinkage is crazy. And that's about all I do when I do my wash and goes, which is not often. Hey guys. Okay, so here's the final look because you saw on the last clip. It is now like 98% dry. I only had to blow dryer for about five minutes or so. As you could tell, some of my ends are a little just from probably like heat damage from the blow dryer or something. I don't know. It's only a few pieces, so I'm not too stressed about it because I did recently have a cut last month in June. So whatever. I'm not about to pay over $100 again to get a diva cut now because it's been too soon. I'll wait and I'm not about to be wearing wash and goes too often because me personally, I don't like wearing wash and goes too much because my hair is very, very shrunken and it's more prone to like single strand knots and extra tangles. So me personally, I just don't wear them too much. Like a couple times a year, that's it. But yeah, as you saw in the video, I only used two products and they were the Quench Moisture Intense Leave-In Conditioner by Aunt Jackie's and the Aunt Jackie's Flexi Don't Shrink elongating curling gel and it says it is enriched with flaxseed and wheat protein and they have pretty good ingredients when I was reading them. I'll give a full review later this week after I've been wearing the product in my hair for a few days. I just wanted to give a first impressions of it with a wash and go because I'm pretty sure this product is a lot of people use this gel for a wash and go. I will use it for other things but just wanted to let you guys know that part. Price point the gel was only $7.99 at my local beauty supply and the leave-in was $6.99 and you get 12 ounces in the leave-in and 18 ounces in the gel so that is not bad as you know natural hair products can be super pricey so this definitely fits my price point you can pick it up on the ground i'm sure some places might have it even cheaper and the leave-in has a nice smell too a little goes a long way as you saw in the video i try not to put too much of either one of these products and about my hair right now, it does not feel crunchy and the gel promises not to give you crunchy hold. It's a very soft hold compared to what I normally will use, which is the Eco Styler gel, which I like. Let's see how long my hair lasts and how moisturized it stays. The leave-in is very light, so I'm not sure how well it's going to hold up for my kinkier texture. But my hair does feel soft, like I said, and it does feel moisturized and I did not add any oil on top or anything just when you saw me blow dry my hair and the awkward shrunkenness I had some oil in my hand so it wouldn't cause too much frizz and friction on my hair but then that that was it I didn't really put oil over my strands like in the shower or anything like that so yeah don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it I'm going to stop talking now so it won't be super long and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my full review on these products and thanks for watching